Advice for anyone who wants to move to Toronto. Understand you're going to have to make a sacrifice. I'm a business owner of a fashion line. I create undergarments for people who defy gender norms, and I also work part-time at a university doing research. In theory, if I was to actually work all my hours, I would make 2,500 a month before taxes, and that's working part-time. After taxes, I would be bringing home 1,800 a month, and my expenses are definitely higher than that. And that's living at home, and my expenses are higher than that. I've wanted to move out a few times, but it's always so expensive. <laughs> So I always choose to stay home, and now that I'm building a business, it just makes sense. I spend at least $8 a day on food, and that's either lunch or breakfast. But on a busier day, I could spend $30. Thank you. That's just like, you know, grabbing a breakfast sandwich and a tea, and then maybe a salad or pizza. Our transit is not 24 hours. It's very unreliable, it's expensive, and once that happens, then you start using Uber a lot, <laughs> and that adds up. I live in the east end, I have to go to the west end to where my seamstress is and get different samples made, get her opinion. The, 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 this like, is so much faster than that. So for the last, say, six weeks, I've gone to the seamstress at least twice a week across town, which means that's a tank. And that's about 40, 45 bucks each time. Gas, it kills me. I think what makes living in Canada as a whole affordable is the healthcare. A lot of stuff is covered. Most things are covered, like the average person with average health issues. You don't really have to worry. What's not covered is your prescriptions. I used to eat out a lot, but now I only go about once a month, and I try to reserve it for like special occasions. You know, like meeting with someone I haven't seen in a while, birthdays, whatever. And I do tend to put a cap. Like I try to make it between 20, 25 bucks. 30 max, unless I got a really good pay. Then I'm like, okay, just enjoy it because you only do it once a month. I always thought I would own by 26 because that's what my mom did and my dad not long after. But the housing market in Toronto is just unbelievable. So it's not really attainable. It's not realistic at this point. Like you have to go really far to start getting reasonable priced houses. And at that point you're living in the boonies. So why? <laughs> my mom has a few rental units available and I, Always I'm like, okay, I'll move out to a unit of ours so it'll be cheaper. And legitimately, like a basement was 850. I still can't afford to live in my own family's property. Yeah, that's that's a very real reality.